Hey everybody, welcome back to Rocky Mountain Style. My name is Patrick. Today's gonna to be a quick video. I just wanted to show off this jacket I got that I really like and I had a few questions about it in my Iron Ranger video I just posted a couple of days ago, actually two days ago. So I figured I'd make a quick video and show it off. So this of course is the Iron Heart 12 ounce whip cord type three jacket. Some places you'll see it called the modified type three jacket, but either way, it's the Iron Heart 12 ounce whip cord jacket. This one is in olive drab green. It also comes in a pretty nice khaki color, so you've got two options there. I bought this at the beginning of November, uh, kind of like an idiot. I bought it right before all the Black Friday sales hit. I need to make a note and remind myself not to do that next year, but that's, uh, that's neither here nor there. So, like the thumbnail says, what the heck is whipcord? Well, I had no idea. It's not a common fabric for menswear, so I had to look it up. Uh, feel free to look it up if you want to read a little bit more, but here are the basics. So it's a cotton weave. It can be made with other fabrics, of course, or other textiles, but this is a, a cotton weave here. And basically what you get is it's a twill weave, just like denim. However, with denim, in order to get the sort of diagonal lines that you see when you look closely with denim, they take the uh, warp yarns and the weft yarns and they sort of grade them out like this, you know, and do every two or three, they go an under and then an over every two to three yarns. So with this, however, they stack them vertically so that instead of getting a sort of diagonal pattern, you get a more vertical pattern, which uh, that coupled with the fact that the yarns and whipcord are just twisted together a lot more tightly, so they're a little bit more dense, uh, gives you sort of a more substantial feel for the same weight than you would get with a, a denim, I think. So also because of that vertical weaving, instead of the horizontal stacked weaving like you get with denim, you're gonna get these raised lines that kind of are reminiscent of corduroy a little bit. Not really corduroy, they don't, they don't feel like corduroy, but they kind of have that same look at first glance. So uh, this fabric also is reactive dyed, meaning it will not fade. So if you're looking to pick something up like this to fade, it's not gonna happen. Uh, you'll get normal wear and tear, but uh, nothing like the denim fades that you may be thinking of. So overall, I think it's a really neat fabric and a jacket's probably the best application for this. They do make a pair of whipcord pants. I'm not sure I'd like them if I'm being honest, but it's great for a jacket. Uh, the jacket also has fully felled seam internal construction. So meaning all of these seams on the inside are basically turned underneath each other like this and then stitched down through so you don't get any raw edges. Everything is a finished edge, which is really nice and also a really strong construction method. The design is fairly true to the original Levi's Type 3 design. That of course being two chest pockets and then the uh, sort of vertical seams right here that give it that classic trucker design. Uh, one major difference though, and that's the important thing to note here, is uh, no hand warmer pockets, no side pockets. So a lot of you may be thinking, can it really be a jacket without any pockets? And I guess that's up for you to decide, but um, <laughs> I was okay with uh, no pockets for one main reason. And that reason is the fact that the length is absolutely perfect, at least on my body, where I can put my hands right down in my pockets if I'm wearing denim and there's really no jacket in the way. You don't have to lift the jacket up or get your hands underneath. It's just a, a sort of a perfect transition of your hands, you know, covering the jacket and then down into your pockets. The 12 ounce weight by itself doesn't give it a ton of warmth since it's not lined with anything, but because of the thicker yarns and how tightly it's woven, it actually is really good with wind resistance. I've worn this quite a bit, both in regular temperatures. You might wear something like this, you know, 45 to 55 degrees, you know, well, really 45 to you know, 65 degrees. Fahrenheit. I've also worn it with, uh, you know, a flannel underneath in colder temperatures below 30 and it, it didn't do great. It wasn't the warmest thing, but then again, that's not really what it's for. It's a light jacket and it's best for those transition seasons. You know, your, your, um, winter into springs and your, you know, late summer into falls and mid fall, things like that. So for that, I think it actually works really well. And given this is an Ironheart product, we can end the video without talking about price. Pretty sure I paid $360 for this, but it looks like it's $375 now. I think a lot of retailers have seen increases uh, realized uh, right at the beginning of the new year in January. So $375, it's a little bit more than their UHF flannels. And without pockets, some people may say, well, it occupies the same space as a flannel then because it's kind of you know, more like an overshirt than a jacket. And I think there's some, some merit to that point. 
But really for $375, it's one of those things where you have to love it. You have to be buying it for the style. You have to be buying it just because it's, you know, Ironheart is known as the, the highest of quality in their segment. So for you, if quality and style is worth the extra money over, you know, an $80, very nice Levi's trucker jacket, you know, if you want denim, uh, or if you think the whip cord is a unique enough item that you can, you know, pay the money for that, then, then it could be worth it for you. I can say though, it, it feels like a tank. I'm not expecting it to have any issues and hopefully have this for a really, really long time. I'm a big fan of it. I think it fits me great and I get a lot of compliments on it. I guess I shouldn't say I get a lot of compliments on it. <laughs> Some of my friends and uh, coworkers that know I'm into this kind of stuff uh, said they think it's cool and not really sure if that's the uh, best indication of uh, true compliments or not. So anyways, take that for what you will. I'm just rambling now, but I uh, just wanted to do this quick video if you have any questions about the jacket, please leave them below and I will reply. Thanks. Have a great day.